Hi, in this video we'll make our app live with Heroku. So before proceeding, go and create account. It's free. So after you signed up, install Heroku CLI for your operating system at this location. Okay, so uh, links are in description for your ease. Okay, so you can choose your operating system from this drop down. So after you installed uh, Heroku CLI, go to your project folder. So we want to deploy our notebook app. So we'll open our terminal or command prompt here. So I'm in Windows, so I'll open command prompt at this location. So one cool trick is to uh, go to the folder uh, with your shift key pressed, right click on folder and choose, choose this option. Uh, open command prompt command prompt here this will open the command prompt at this location so to check if Heroku is installed correctly type Heroku and enter so this might install Heroku CLI if you are running this command for first time okay so after it uh, got installed uh, again type Heroku and it will ask for your credentials type in the email address and password uh, with which you signed up so now you are all set up uh, time to deploy so if you go to this page you will find instruction of uh, on deploying uh, your app so once again this link is in description okay so so we have already set up our project and we just want to deploy it so we don't need to go through these steps where it says create project and all these steps so let's jump directly to deployment section okay so first thing you need to do is create a proc file okay so it will configure uh, the correct document route for your project okay so to create that in windows i will type in this command okay echo and uh, you, you need to put uh, this uh, line inside your proc file okay so we, in windows uh, echo putting this content and giving the name of file will create the file with this content inside okay so if you are in terminal just create the file and open it in sublime or whatever text editor and put this line inside and save it so now your proc file is com uh, created next commit this change uh, to git repo okay so git add and git commit so proc file add edit okay so so if you haven't created git okay so uh, you need to type git in it and then you need to type git add okay so so chances are you have already done this okay created repo and committed the change so now time to create a new heroku app so run this command heroku create okay so this will create a new app okay so after that is completed so run this command heroku build pack so what this does is this will tell heroku that this is the php app okay so this step is uh, optional uh, your project will work without this option but it's good to run okay all right so next um you need to generate the key okay um just run this command to uh, know what your app key so php artisan key generate will uh, generate the key but uh, in this case we just want to show what the key is for that project okay so we'll run this command so now you'll see uh, the key just copy the key and store it in some location okay next uh, run this command heroku config set app key equals to and here just paste in that key what you uh, just copied okay just paste it here and enter so it will set the app key for your project all right so the final step is to deploy it to uh, remote or push this git to remote so run this command git push heroku master okay so it will push your app live okay so it will take some time depending upon size of your application 
all right so after it is done just type in heroku open okay so it will open your live application in browser okay so if you see this screen you have successfully deployed your app to live okay so congratulations okay so next video we'll learn about database configuration in heroku okay so how we deal with database okay how you how we store our migrations okay so that's it for this video so please subscribe guys more awesome projects are coming okay so see you in the next video bye